Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Okay, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> anyway, you guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified for when the next video comes out. Make sure you like if you join today and also comment below how you feeling. Okay, all right. So a lot of people have been uh, inboxing me. A lot of people have been messaging me for a very long time about how do I build up this confidence, right? And the truth of the reality is y'all, we all, at least for me, cause I'm speaking from experience, that's what this channel is about. You, taking you through Cammie's journey, my journey, okay? Is I, I'm gonna speak from I, I statements. I don't know if you guys use I statements when you were in middle school. I think I used to use them in, whatever. That ain't the, what the video is about. It's about how to build your confidence, okay? Um, how to build, how I built my confidence. Let me reword that. But basically, I struggle with it every day, okay? But here's the thing, like, you have to get in the mindset. At least for me, I have to get in the mindset. Let me get in the, let me get in the, uh, let me just get in the habit of speaking from I, because this is, this is I, me. Um, and you could take what you want from it. But basically, I have to get in the mindset to say, hey, you know what? I might not like that, but I'm going to embrace it because I only get one body, one life, one journey. You know what I'm saying? And so today I'm just going to focus on. I don't even want to give like a list because I might this conversation might go another way. Um, but I want to focus it on just how I built my confidence. So I wrote down some notes because I wanted to be really prepared for this one today. Um, so here we go. The first one I think is that you have to affirm with yourself even when you don't feel like it, right? And what this looks like for me is writing down <clears throat> things and then also eventually picking up a uh, mirror, <laughs> okay? Clean that sucker off. And say for example, I say I am bold. Cami, you are bold. And usually I do this with no makeup because I just want to see my stuff like, it's just a experience, you know what I mean? So I say, you are bold, girl. You bold. You beautiful. Matter of fact, you not just bold and beautiful. You intelligent. You is smart. You is loyal. You know, you say that to yourself, okay? Even when you don't feel like it. Because guess what? Life is a journey and it goes up and down. It fluctuates every single day. Trust me, I know. Also, tearing women apart. I don't like this. I really don't. I'm about girl power. My mom raised me and my twin sister to uplift people. You know what I mean? So I might, I, I'm the girl, I'm the woman who, if I see a good outfit on you, guess what queen? You, you looking cute today. You looking fly, you fired, you sexy mama. <laughs> but for real, I will tell you. And you know what? I might even ask you, girl, where did you get that outfit from? Cause <laughs> I'm not even gonna be stunning on them like that. Like, I'm not even just gonna hide it, or stunning maybe isn't the word, whatever. I'm gonna speak how I feel. If I want the skirt, girl, where you get the skirt from? Where you get the cute glasses from, okay? The point of the matter is, we gotta do a little bit more girl power, you feel me? A little bit more uplifting, building each other up. Okay, enough with that one. <laughs> That was one. Um, another one. Take yourself for a date, sis. Spend some time with yourself. In addition to doing affirmations, maybe get a journal. I got a few. <laughs> and I just write. You know, I, got, I'm not, I haven't been doing it lately, but usually when I do write in my journal, I write down ideas that maybe come into my head. You know, I use it for that. I use it to jot down how I'm feeling. I used to be a big advocate of diaries when I was a young little girl. My mom bought me a few during Christmas. <laughs> okay. Um, and just really writing down my feelings and it's just a good place to even look back on. Okay. This brings me into the next one. Take yourself on a date. So both of these, I think, allow you to spend time with yourself. You know, you write with a journal. You may listen to music. You may not. You may do it in the morning when you meditate. Find out what that looks like for you and do it. And trust me, once you get into it, you'll find your groove. Um, and I know I'm going all over the place, but going on a date with yourself. We can't do that right now in quarantine, you know, but that doesn't mean you can't cook yourself some dinner and sit down 
and enjoy the dish. Teach yourself how to cook a meal, sit down, spend some time with yourself, even if it's like five to 10 minutes. What I used to do when I lived in New York is I literally used to take myself to a restaurant. I used to, they would ask, are you waiting for someone? No, 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 it's just me, myself, and I. Now, I wouldn't say it to them like that. <laughs> but I would use that time to basically be by myself. Now, you definitely have to be a certain type of person to have the guts and to have the confidence to do this. But I challenge you, like, if you do have the opportunity to do this, take yourself out to eat. Go to the movies. You know what? Go to the park by yourself. That's a good way to social distance and still go on a date. Go to, I don't even know, but park, movies, restaurant. In this instance, going to the park may be the easiest. So take yourself on a date, okay? Um, all right. My battery light is about to go off, so let me change this real quick. Hold on. Whew. It's a little hot in here. It's a little steamy. Okay, so we're back. All right, so the next one I wanted to tell you all about, let me look at my notes here. Another thing you could do in addition to going on a date by yourself is going to networking events by yourself. Um, just going to social gatherings by yourself when we are allowed to go to social gatherings. Um, and then also practice social distancing, obviously. but. Go. The point of this is challenge yourself to get out your comfort zone. That helps build your confidence. Well, it has helped me. It has helped me. <laughs> um, let's see here. Also, failure is okay. You know, when your confidence is a journey. So, you know, you are bound to have your ups and downs. It's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know, um, I think affirmations really helped me do that. And, ju and just really just figuring out what is it that makes you unconfident and tapping into that and really that's when the journaling and the meditation comes into play because it helps you think about why what's the source of that and how can I get through this or how can I continue to journey through this because I don't think sometimes people may not get through it but it's just a journey if that makes sense like you're just moving through it you know that's the best way I could describe it. <laughs> um, I already said journal reflect to help you find your purpose, extra sauce. I call it my sauce. People refer to it as your purpose. Whatever it is, it's all the same. But journaling definitely helps me do that. And then overall, just appreciate yourself, okay? We all have parts of ourselves that we don't like. But I think if you appreciate it and create that va boom mentality, the world is just waiting for you. That's all I gotta say. I'ma eat me a chip. Mmm, -mm. salty. All right, so let me know in the comment section below how you build your confidence and advice that you have for others. And I think that's it. I didn't want this video to be too long. And let me know what you want me to do next. Maybe I'll show you guys some of my affirmations. And then also, another good way to do this in addition to journaling and um, what else? It was journaling and affirmations, which you can do in your journal. You can put post-its on your window and your bathroom. But also dream boards is another way to do that. It helps you collect your thoughts, collect like, Basic, it's another way of reflection, okay? So make sure you check that video out right there, <laughs> right there. And until then, trendsetters, that's all I have for today. Make sure you go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're continuing to get through your own confidence confidence journey and until then make sure you continue to do you because you are all that and some trendsetters don't let nobody don't let nobody tell you any other or any different and until then i will see you all in my next video see ya
Ooh. 